up, Chooms? How y'all living? Hope everything is Nova and you're all having a preem week. So, I just want to do a quick video with all of you hair loss witchers who have been eagerly awaiting some preem nude deets from our friends over at the Kintor Corporation. Fresh recap for those who aren't familiar though, Kintor is a Chinese pharmaceutical company that is currently developing several cutting edge pharmaceutical treatments for hair loss. Perhaps the most famous of their treatments in the pipeline right now at least is pyrolutamide, which is a very potent topical androgen antagonist with some extremely promising preliminary results of which I've talked about in a few videos which I'll link below. As exciting as pyrolutamide is though, it isn't the most promising of the hair loss treatments Kintor is currently developing. There is another treatment in development that works through a completely different mechanism called GT20029. Now, I last talked about this treatment over a year ago in a video which I'll link below, and even though the data at the time was sparse, I still spoke enthusiastically about it due to the drug's very unique mechanism of locally degrading the androgen receptors on the scalp, which in theory at least should make the progression of androgenic alopecia impossible and effectively give us a cure, or, or at least the closest thing to a cure we'll have for androgenic alopecia in the near future. So, we haven't heard much about GT20029 since my last video, but that all changed recently when the phase one data for this drug got published, and I am very, very excited to go balls deep and find out if this recent data warrants my earlier optimism. So again, I must emphasize that even though GT2009 is a treatment for hair loss from Kintor Pharmaceuticals, it is not at all like Kintor's better known drug, pyrolutamide. The thing that's exciting about GT20029 is that it is a drug with a completely unique mechanism of action. It isn't a 5-AR blocker like finasteride or dutasteride, and it isn't an androgen receptor blocker like pyrolutamide. What it actually is, is an androgenic receptor annihilator. That's right, it eliminates androgen receptors completely, and it does it in a very interesting way. GT20029 is what's called a PROTAC drug. PROTAC stands for proteolysis targeting chimera. Now, maybe that name doesn't help you understand what a PROTAC is, exactly, so let me try to explain. A chimera was a mythical animal that was a hybrid between two animals like a half lion and half snake, similar to say a manticore from the Witcher series. Anyways, a protact drug has two parts to it as you can see here, but how does it work exactly? Well. It turns out our bodies have a natural built-in garbage collection system called the ubiquitin system. When protein wears out, this ubiquitin system tags them with a tag called ubiquitin. This ubiquitin is a signal that the protein is no longer needed and thus needs to be deleted. A structure in the cell called a proteasome attaches to the tagged molecule and shreds it to pieces. The thing that's cool about protacts is that they are reusable. After they tag one protein, they can go on to tag more proteins, so only a very tiny amount of protein Protact will have a big effect. GT20029 is a protact that is designed to tag the androgen receptor and mark it for deletion. Of course, it is a topical because you don't want to destroy the androgen receptors anyplace else in the body besides on the hair. So, Kintor just reported on the results of the phase one study of GT20029 done in China. Now, to explain what a phase one study is, it is a study that is usually done in healthy volunteers and it is designed to make sure the drug is relatively safe. And also sometimes it's used to identify the ideal dosing of a drug. After phase one studies are done, the next steps are phase two and phase three studies to determine how effective the drug is and to further reaffirm its safety profile. Well. We have just a few details released by Kintor so far here, so let me read the important part of the report. Quote, the phase one study showed that a total of 92 subjects received at least one treatment dose, including that 68 subjects received gel and 24 subjects received tincture. The topical administration of GT20029 was safe and well tolerated in healthy subjects with limited system ex exposure. Following a single dose administration, all subjects had no detectable drug concentrations at all time points. Following multiple doses topical administrations of GT20029, the mean maximum drug concentration of all co cohorts were lower than 0.05 nanograms per milliliter. All treatments related adverse events were grade 1 and no TRAE above grade 1 was reported." Unquote. Dr. Tong, the CEO of Kintor Pharmaceuticals, commented that the phase 1 study proved, quote, 
the pharmacokinetic results showed that the topical use of Protac compound could penetrate into the body, but the exposure was much lower than KX826, indicating that the safety was controllable. Skin surface damage was not observed in repeated administration of topical Protac compound at a high dose, demonstrating the safety of specific degradation of antigen receptor targeted proteins in local use and paving the way for the observation of drug efficacy in following phase two clinical trial, unquote. So KX826 is pyrolutamide, which is a more traditional antigen receptor blocker, which is also being developed by Kintor, as I already said. So this is, of course, all very good news because this means the drug will go forward into further trials, though the one concern is that apparently there is some systemic absorption of the drug, though the levels are very low. However, clearly the safety of the drug will need to be looked at very carefully in the next trials. The mechanism of the drug hints that it will be very effective, but we just need some more outcome data on its efficacy to confirm how effective it is at preventing hair loss and regrowing hair. At the very least, though, we know that we have not heard the last of GT20029 and that has passed one major obstacle in its quest to eventually become a product available for consumers. This is earlier along in developing compared to pyrolutamide, but it's very possible that as insanely promising as pyrolutamide is, that this one will turn out to be even better. So I'll be keeping an eye out for this one, Chooms, and hopefully we'll have more research to scientifically break down soon. So that's probably the shortest video I've ever done, but anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Take care. God bless.